Hi Gemini, it's Elle here to do a reading for you. This will, what we're gonna do in this reading is see how your new person, the new love in your life feels about you, what they want from you, their next actions towards you. We're also gonna see what the ex is thinking, how they feel about you, uh, what they want with you and their next action towards you because some people here are concerned about the ex and that is okay. So let's go ahead and get into it, Gemini. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing Gemini with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so we're going to start with the new person. All right, we're going to see what the new person uh, wants with you. All right, uh, how they feel about you. All right, next actions towards you. All right, so let's see. What is the, how does the new person feel about Gemini? Ooh, the two of pentacles. So off camera, what I was getting for you, Gemini, was that maybe you being a Gemini, you might be in both of these relationships at the same time. You might be dealing with the ex and the new person and your new person feels that way. They feel like maybe you're juggling them or there is a decision to cut something off or something out is up in the air. They feel like maybe you're keeping your options open. You're trying to be in both situations, both relationships at the same time. You're trying to grow both of them. You put one person down, you pick the other person up. This is just how they feel or they feel like a decision to be together, to make it a real relationship is still up in the air because there's something else here interfering. They also feel like you're trying to keep up this whole masquerade, like a, a mask that you are, you're not really showing them the real you, you know? Um, maybe they feel like you go back and forth here also. All right, so let's see. Um, let's see how uh, the old person or the ex feels about you. How does the ex feel about Gemini? How does, oh, whoa, those cards um, fell onto the floor. Let's see if we can get these cards. All right. All right. Uh, too many cards. Some came in the reverse, some were upright. I don't know. I don't want to mess up the message. So let's see. All right. How does the X feel about Gemini? Okay. The magician so they feel like you're showing up in your energy they feel like you are manipulative or you're ma manipulating the energy you have the power here it seems like you have an idea of how the relationship should go or you did when you guys were together um you were the one pulling the strings here um again you have an idea of how things could, should go and you were the one trying to make it come into reality um Maybe your words, what you were saying to this person were very powerful. Um, you took matters in your own hands. You were doing what you thought was best for you. Um, it's, a, it's an energy of self also, the magician. So it seems as if maybe they feel like maybe you were selfish. You were trying to, you know, make yourself over. Um, you were trying to use all that you had to get what it is you wanted for you. So that's how the ex feels, okay? Let's see... Um, what the new person wants with you gemini what does the new person want with gemini what does the new person want with gemini the ten of swords okay so maybe they want you to finally let something be over maybe some volatile relationship something that was um that keeps you in a place of um playing the victim being overly dramatic not um not listening um again not being able to cope with the fact that uh, it is what it is. Maybe they want you to take the chip off your shoulder. Also, they want you to um, deal with your demons. They want you to understand that um, negativity, hardship, uh, drama, discord with maybe masculine energy is over. They want you to understand that. They want you to know that um, that was the fullness of that connection, of that relationship, of that person of that situation they don't want you to rest in that energy any longer all right so let's see what the ex wants with you gemini i just saw the ten of swords again all right what does the ex want with gemini what does the ex want with gemini what does the ex want with gemini what does the ex want with the chariot so your ex could be a cancer they could your ex wants you to um move on uh something about take the relationship into a new positive direction also um get over the obstacles that rest between the two of you um 
they want more equality. Uh, they want you to have talks. They want you to deal better in interpersonal connections. They want you to show up. Let's see what my dog is barking about. Um, hang on, guys. Okay, I don't want to do this video over, so we're going to keep going. All right, so yeah, your ex wants you to, um, they want you to show up better in a better capacity. Um, they want you to get the help that you need also. Something about obstacles and you, um, selfishness also. Um, that's what the ex wants from you. They also want to, they want to take control of this relationship. Maybe they feel like they were, it was hands off for them. They kind of let you steer the relationship here. Let's see what the new person's next actions are towards you. What is the new person's next actions towards Gemini? What are the new person's next action? The nine of swords. Ooh. Um, so this person, I don't know if you're driving this person crazy or um, they, they don't know what to think. I don't know if there's going to be separation between the two of you. Um, this person is, is, you know, they have low energy. They have very low tolerance to deal with this. This person is overthinking. They're just at a place of unrest here. Um, this new person, they don't know how things are going to turn out or pan out. It was some event or some conversation had to where they just don't know if um, Gemini, this is your energy, the nine of swords. Maybe you said something that just caused maybe uh, for separation. Uh, maybe you said something very harsh. Maybe you were just um, too honest about your feelings or about the relationship. Um, somebody's going over and over something in their head. Um, uh, they're in a place of where their emotions and their thoughts are just kind of attacking them in terms of the relationship here. They feel like um, it's definitely crumbling. It's collapsing. That's what the, you know, that's how they feel about the connection or they feel like the next action is that um, they're in a place of mental inst instability, not being able to cope with the fact of, of something happening or not happening or something being said, an argument, a blow up. Um, Let's see. Um, I don't know. It's like um, maybe they put you on a pedestal here. You're their empress. Um, there's somebody here who uh, thinks very highly of themselves. Um, let's see what the the X next actions are towards you. What is the X? What is Gemini's X next? Okay. Um, seven of wands so they're going to be trying hard to get your attention maintain your attention um to come in and destruct whatever it is you're trying to construct maybe with another person uh, another situation um they they want your attention they want you to set um they want you to set your eyes on them your sights on them they also want to fight for whatever it is they feel like you guys have the relationship here they want you guys to move on and move on together. Um, this person is definitely not going to take a passive approach. They're going to fight off. They're willing to do battle for the connection, for the relationship here. They don't care that you may have put up boundaries or it's other people vying for your attention. They're fighting for you. What is the advice for Gemini dealing with the new person? What's Okay, nine of pentacles. Um, the advice here is that maybe you don't, um, there's no intimacy here. It's just two people acting independently. Uh, there's no vulnerability, closeness, um, openness. Um, you live alone. They live at their home. There's nothing holding you two together. Therefore, it's easy for you guys to depart or say negative things or um, just not care about the other person, sociopath, either you or the other person. Um, 
the advice here is for you to um, get serious about what it is you want. If you want a connection, do know that you can have this. Uh, come together with this person if you want that. If you don't want that, make it very clear, very firm for them. Don't make it to where they have to read between the lines. This person sees you as the perfect catch, you know, a good catch. Um, but you're, they also see you as super independent, um, willing to just go it alone, not wanting partnership or collaboration, no intimate connection. So the advice here is if that's not what you want or that's not the, the message you want to relay, then you need to do something or show up in a different capacity. Um, yeah, it seems as if, it's as if the relationship is kind of fake. It, it's false. Um, you make each other happy. There's a lot of happiness between the two of you. The stage is set for you guys to have something real. Now you have to realize it. That would be, I don't know, meeting each, each other's friends, family, uh, moving in together, uh, talking about future plans, something where it has to be real. Um, because it seems as if, once again, it's just two independent people coming together for whatever reason and then departing. And, and it's nothing to hold you to, um, no glue that, that binds you, that holds you two together. Let's see, what is the advice for you dealing with this old person or the ex? This old person. What's the advice for Gemini dealing with the ex? What's the advice for Gemini dealing with the ex? The death card. All right, so it's either you're going to transform this energy or you're going to let it die because it is at death's door. It could go either way here. Um, it could be dealing with the Scorpio. Um, with this ex, you need to determine what it is you really want. It, uh, if you want this person, then get in the habit of talking it over. Um, stop holding grudges. Um, stop being so possessive, clingy. Um, Stop holding on to things. Uh, deal with your issues from the past, some deep-seated issues, maybe even child abuse, child neglect. Um, stop being stingy. Open up. Um, and for some of you, you're going to have to stop the toxic ways. Um, and you or the other person. So. Whomever it is, you've got to talk about how do we transform this energy. And if we can't, then we just need to let this die. Okay, it needs to end. So that's what I have for you, Gemini. If it resonates, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text a question to the number below. Uh, this new person, it looks like they're not sure if you really like them uh, enough or a lot. And maybe you don't. Maybe you're with them for a, a specific reason. All right. All right. So um, go over to the website, book your own uh, reading there. Ask a question by texting it to the number below. You can also donate to the channel if you feel it moved to by clicking the buy me a coffee link. Stay tuned for um, some real good energy about this full moon coming up. All right. Thank you, guys. Take care.